talking. Get sort of ready with me as I tell you about the difference between receiving hate mail as a kid versus as an adult. I'm home for spring break and back in my own bathroom for the first time in months. Something about being home has made me really want to open up. Quick crash course if you've never seen me in your life and are like, who is this girl? When I was younger, I grew up in the entertainment industry, filming, acting, and doing movies, touring internationally, and as a result, I had a lot of publicity and also a lot of hate. While I would receive the standard comments of like, you're ugly, you have a horrible voice, I hate you, things like that that trolls will normally say, I received a lot more hate on behalf of my parents. And this is something that almost every child actor goes through to some extent, because in an attempt to protect children from abusive stage parents, a lot of people will make assumptions that kids don't actually want to be involved in the industry, or that their parents are forcing or abusing them. And in my case, that could not have been farther from the truth. In fact, my parents almost tried to talk me out of going on a got talent the first time because they thought it would be too scary. My parents were also the type to constantly be asking me, hey, are you enjoying what you're doing? Do you like this? But we got a lot of comments from probably well-intentioned yet woefully ignorant people saying things like, you're exploiting your kid. And one guy even took it so far that he wrote my father this entire essay and stated that if he ever saw my dad, he would promptly kill him, then cut his body into a million different pieces, shove the remains in his trunk, and dump them in the middle of the Sinai Desert which is the hottest place in California. I'm cackling as I watch and edit this because I totally meant to say Simi Valley in California, not Sinai Desert, as in the Egyptian Peninsula. My personal favorite comment is one that stated, I bet this is what the Taliban listened to when they were being waterboarded. It was a video of me as a four-year-old singing in a Harris Teeter commercial for those wondering. But one of the things I'm really grateful for is that my parents never really shielded me from any of the hate comments. Obviously, some of the really bad ones they wouldn't show me, but they sort of cultivated in me this mentality of just laughing it off. There would literally be nights where I would sit down with my dad and we would just go through hate comments and read them and just laugh at them. And sort of learning to understand hate for what it was was so helpful to me as a young child and also just as I've continued to stay in this world growing up. I still get hate, especially as I've grown older. Now people target it more at me instead of at my parents, so I really had to put that thick skin to use. But what I've realized is that if people really don't like what you're doing, it's their prerogative to change the channel or scroll. And in my mind, if I have just a handful of people who my content resonates with or inspires, that is more than enough. And honestly, I haven't always had that thick skin. I went through a period in high school, actually, where I was really terrified of my friends looking me up on the internet because I thought that my digital footprint comprised of photos from when I was younger and awkward stages was just so embarrassing that I couldn't let anyone see it.